Hey guys, how's it going? Well, there have been a few, quite a few people writing me about these Lewis holsters, and so I thought I'd get out a few of them. Uh, I've got more than this, but uh, these cross draw holsters are really, really nice. They're made by the Lewis Leather Company in California. Unfortunately, uh, they're no longer in business. This one, these are cross draw holsters. This is for a left hand draw. They've got a very nice intricate spring to them and the cylinder recess is something that, it, that you just don't see anymore. And that's what really, really uh, pulled me into these holsters. That and the fact that they're just plain cool. Uh, you know, you can get Bianchi holsters, you can get them, uh, you can get a lot of different holsters, and I mean, there's so many good ones out there. But old school, uh, you know, you watch any of the old detective shows, and you will see this holster. Uh, this is a basket weave Lewis and basket weave uh, they did make I've got a I've got a shoulder holster uh, made by Lewis that's basket weave very rare it's tan and uh, it's beautiful it doesn't have that gray that light gray yoke on the top the strap that goes around your shoulder it's got a tan one but still uh, very rare and very good. The Lewis, they stamp, uh, they stamp the caliber and the barrel length on all their holsters. It's a police special six inch. They work very good for revolvers. And they're very good for if you're riding in a car They've got two belt loops uh, that are wide, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But these belt loops are very nice. It, it's even stamped on here. Let me get a better one. Uh, it says belt through both loops. Uh, now, Buckmeyer uh, came up with a holster, and it's called the Sheriff. And made by Buckmeyer in Los Angeles, California. Uh, Buckmeyer seemed to try and copy Lewis, but they never got it right. Uh, they got it close, but they didn't get it right. Uh, if you ever have one of these Buckmeyers, you'll notice that there's very little belt space between these, between these uh, holsters. It's real difficult to get a belt on these. Uh, but at the same time, back then people wore thin belts. Uh, watch old James Cagney movies. You'll still see Buckmeyers too. Uh, this one is a tan one. And this is a Chief Special. You've seen the Chief Special that I've that I've got. <laughs> You've seen the video. A lot of people have seen it. In fact, it's one that got the most, some of the most hits. Uh, where I couldn't figure out the tech, tech shoemaker trigger trigger shoe. Here I go again. Uh, but anyway, I do have the I do have the walnut grips. By the way, if you if you do uh, run into old guns that are vintage, uh, keep those wood grips. Don't ever get rid of those. Uh, police departments went with Packmeyer grips and Hogue grips in the nah, early 80s. I wish they hadn't, but they did. Uh, when they did that, a lot of, uh, they would tell a lot of the gun dealers, take those, take those walnut grips off. We don't want those. Uh, they make it too hard for us to shoot. And uh, take those off, we want pack Myers. They were more than happy to do that. I've got a cat playing behind me. They're more happy, more than happy to do that, and uh, so as a result, there are a few attics and storage uh, units that will have nothing but uh, Colt and Smith and Wesson walnut grips 
that are brand new that have never been uh, never been used, taking off brand new guns. It's a shame. It really is. But at the same time, Packmeyer grips are very good if you're going to shoot a gun. Uh, walnut grips are not as not as uh, yeah. They're very pleasing to the eye, but at the same time. Uh, Packmeyer ribs absorb a lot of recoil. I don't care if what anybody says about the way I hold a gun. If I make a mistake to Paul and making a video, fuck it. Uh, I do the best I can. But anyway, this, what is this? This is a Cobra. And uh, you've seen this in the other videos too. This one though, this is a Lewis and it's a basket weave Lewis and this is a very rare one and this is one I wanted to show you and this actually has they did make they did make some with belt clips and there have been two people who wrote me uh, mentioning that and I've been wanting to get a hold of uh, one Joe Friday wore one that had a belt clip so did uh, so did oh, let me see there were several people but this actually was done by uh, by the Lewis Leather Company, and they've made this. They put a snap in here, to where you can unsnap your holster from. Let me see here. Yeah, unsnap your holster from your belt, and they put a little leather tab there to where you can reach it really, really well. So it's very cool. Uh, for a basket weave, it's beautiful. And by the way, if you guys ever get, uh, you know, you guys who are into these Lewis, any, any type of holsters, I don't care what they are, uh, there's a thing called from Kiwi, and it's called scuff remover. Get some of that. Uh, be very gentle with it when you use it, apply it to, you know, a small area. But it will make these holsters look damn near new. Uh, the scuff remover works really well, and it'll take an old, an old looking holster, and it will make it look like new. You can buff that thing. Uh, but these are the Lewis holsters, and I just wanted. To, uh, they also made uh, for. Let's see, which one's this for? Okay, this is a different. This is a different stamp. I've seen another stamp on, on here for the Pitts Company. Uh, this one is different. What's that say? Central Equipment Company. I'll be darn. Where's where's the Pitts one? I think I probably got one on here. But you can see where they're stamped, and you can usually tell a Lewis from that. I'm sure I've got one in here. There's a fellow that uh, that I used to talk to a lot, and I, I shot him one of those. Uh, now here's another here's another different stamp. I haven't looked at these in a while. Uh, what's it say? Ah, for the M yeah for the M pit uh, for M pit. San San Carmel, California. Actually, this company, I've, I've got several stamps that are different on these, on these holsters, uh, which makes them all, all the more rare. Yeah, San Gabriel, California. Not Sam Carmel, Sam Carmel. But uh, the pit, the pit company actually moved, and they moved up north, and uh, some of the holsters are stamped uh, the imp for the M Pit uh, Company uh, up north. <laughs> they don't say up north, but I can't remember what they say on them. Uh, but yeah, these are the holsters, and they're very good if you're into old, old school, uh, old school gun leather. Uh, get a hold of a Lewis because you will really like it. And if you miss all the old, you know, the old detective shows that are, you know, that used to you used to take your rabbit ears and. Uh, go around with uh, uh, adjust the rabbit ears and turn the V hold and the H hold on the on the TV. Who didn't, you know, back then?
that you know kids today they uh, kids today boy I sound like an old fart but you know I mean they've got iPads and they've got a uh, video that just blows anything we ever washed away but there was charm to that that type of uh, it, it took a little bit of work to uh, actually enjoy a TV show which I don't know uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that's changed but what all, what's also changed you don't see very many really really good uh, detective shows and TV shows uh, out at least I don't I mean uh, Call me an old fart, I don't care, but uh, I like the older uh, shows, and they're really not old shows for me, uh, shows like The Rock and the Files, Starsky and Hutch, I was a teenager, you know, and uh, I miss those shows, but, you know, there, there were morals in, those, in a lot of those shows, and uh, there was humor in them, and they were just really, really good, and they were so far apart and far above. Uh, what Hollywood puts out today, but uh, these holsters are very hard to get if you can get a hold of them uh, Do so because you will not be sorry. They're beautiful holsters I, I've looked for them for a long time. I spent years looking just for this holster right here. I spent literally probably seven years this was before eBay really before any computer was out. I spent about seven years looking for a holster. Finally, uh, little by little, uh, I hit the right places and then eBay came out and I've been able to snag up quite a, quite a few of them. Uh, but yeah, if you're into Lewis Gun Leather, if you're into the old shows, if you're into the detective uh, detective series is if you're into Colts, if you're into Smith & Wessons, if you're into the old school steel and wheel guns, uh, these are the holsters for them. And, uh, you know, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing pretentious about these holsters. They're pure utilitarian utilitary use. And, uh, they do the job that they need to be, uh, that needs to be done. And there's a lot of work that goes in to a holster like this. I'd love to be able to go into that uh, to that company and uh, when it was when it was big and put in a great big order. Uh, their shoulder holsters used to go for thirty dollars back in 19, 19 I think fifty nine. Thirty bucks in nineteen fifty nine. So it kind of tells you how much these holsters went for and how much they were worth they're not cheap and they weren't cheap they weren't cheap even back then you could pick up a holster like this brand new from the Lewis shop for 650 but again that was in the you know the 50s and 60s and uh, you know you do the math and go back and see how much that that much money actually got you uh, put it in your gas tank, you know, figure that out. And they made these, they made these holsters very nice. They were expensive even back then, but they're so cool right now. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, for the guys that are, you know, that are writing me about these, uh, these old, old holsters, it's great to see that. I'm glad that there's other people out there who actually dig old, uh, dig wheel guns, dig Colts, dig Smith & Wessons, the old school style and uh, you know even that detective special is not old school. You know, the Cobra is and the detective specials I have you know those are old school but even that one is uh, it's not what I, I'd consider old school although uh, you know Although right now, I guess, you know, as, as we get older, it is. But they're just beautiful guns. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Colt did it right. And Smith & Wesson, at the time, did such a good job. And I wish Colt, you know, was still back in the heyday, but unfortunately they're not. And uh, it's a shame. It's a real, 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 real bad shame. Uh, the guns are at a premium right now. Oh man, my guns are worth so much more than they were when I bought them. 
you know, if you're going to invest in something, invest in firearms. Uh, the return on them and the enjoyment you get out of them is just unparalleled. Uh, you know, you can you can invest in gold, and what do you have? You've got, you know, you've got something that weighs quite a bit that does absolutely nothing, or you can invest in something that you enjoy that uh, is interesting. This mechanical steel that uh, will hold its value, and not only hold its value, but double and triple as time goes on. And it's something you can pass down to your family, responsible family members. Uh, fortunately, I, that's all I have in my family, but uh, some families don't. And, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of these holsters on here. You know, the family members, well, you know, my dad passed away. I don't know anything about these holsters. Let's start it at a pity, you know. And I mean, it's like, oh, man, you know. But uh, anyway, guys, take it easy later on. Uh, glad you guys are digging these Lewis holsters. They're very, very nice. And if you get it, guys get a chance, uh, you will be very, very happy with them. Uh, they're they're different from the new the new ones that are out, uh, but there's class in these holsters and their style. And I mean, they're just there's workmanship that that really you know I haven't seen since. And I wish this holster company was still around. I wish Safety Speed was still around. I remember when Bianchi went to Acumold and started making, uh, you know, plastic pleather type, you know, gun leather. And I just pretty much threw up when I saw that. Uh, I don't like Kydex. I don't like anything that's not leather and steel. And, uh, you know, some people may like Kydex. I think it's shit, and, uh, you know, say what you want about it, but, uh, you know, there's no, there's no replacement for gun leather, and there's no replacement for classic.